being laid off as a developer, you know, or even in general, you can say too, is so real, guys. I mean, it's real being laid off as even as an engineer, even as valuable as we can be and as we are in this industry, being laid off is <laughs> is very real in this industry. I personally know many people who have been laid off as developers. I know people who were laid off because simply their jobs were outsourced to out of the country. I actually know quite a few people like that. I also know people who got laid off or actually got let go because they just weren't good enough. I actually know quite a few people who joined a startup. It was a new company and they couldn't afford them. They let them go or there were times when the startup actually didn't do well. <laughs> and that's very expected because the chance of any business succeeding is tends to be pretty low, right? But I think it's very different when it comes to a company that's been around for, let's say, seven to ten years. Uh, imagine as an engineer that you worked for a specific company for X amount of years and then you're let go. I think that's sad, but that does happen in this industry. And the reason that I'm bringing this up right now is because there is this company that I have been supporting for a very long time. I mean, since even before the beginning of my YouTube career, I've been supporting this company. Well, something recently happened. I went on Twitter and you know, I'm on Twitter actually almost every single day. I post things on there almost every single day. But yeah, anyway, so I actually go on Twitter and I start noticing that a lot of people were being let go. A lot of a lot of people who work at Twitter or people, or sorry, people, a lot of people who actually worked at this company or used to work at this company started saying they were let go at this place, they were let go at this company. And it's sad because actually a few of the people that I saw on Twitter that said they were let go are people that I actually met and people that I admire, which is really interesting, which sucks. And the company I'm talking about, again, is a company I've supported for a long time and I still do. The company I'm talking about is Treehouse. And if you don't know them, teamtreehouse.com, I mean, that's the company that, well, that's the school, online school I went to to learn how to code right that's the company i went to to learn code and help me get my first job as a developer in three months but i guess what's been happening is that as an online school they started noticing that some courses aren't being taken some programs or languages that are not as popular or in demand in industry today you know aren't you know necessary anymore and so people who were teaching these courses people who were part of the, a specific department i guess you could say will let go now the reason i want to talk about this is yes because i do know some of those people but even more than that as i was looking through twitter one thing that i noticed is that they were all let go without notice and that breaks my heart you know at least for me right at least with the developers that i know they were some people were given three months in advance some people were given six months in advance notice I know quite a few people who were told at least, you know, a week ahead of time before they were let go. And for this to happen, like, out of nowhere. I mean, literally, no one was told at all. People literally came to the office. There was one person who was literally going to celebrate his seventh year at Treehouse. That day was his seventh year at Treehouse. And he was like, up, and it sucks. And I mean, this stuff does happen though, right? I mean, I guess just, I, I, haven't, I haven't seen very often when people are let go without notice, um, at least from, from my, what I've seen, right? But it sucks, man. And it breaks my heart seeing this, right? But what's really great about the Twitter community is that people start seeing, oh my gosh, this isn't right. And people like go here and there out of nowhere, right? And I tried to count how many people and it looks like at least 15 or 16 people will let go out of nowhere. Even actually one of the founding teachers or I'm not sure he was a founder, but one of the original teachers at Treehouse was let go too. And that blew my mind even more. I'm like, what the heck? This guy is someone that I learned code from too. And he's amazing at it. And so I know he'll be able to find a job really easy because he's that good at coding. But that blew my mind. And the reason I bring this up too is because it just reminded me. And it put things into perspective. No matter how good you think you are, no matter how valuable you are in the industry, you can be let go at any second. And it sucks so much. And it's scary when you think about that. But I think that's why even if, whether you're a developer or not, what's really important is that you continue to build your value in some way, not just at work, 
but even outside of work that you have a way to do something where either you build a side hustle outside of work or you make it a goal to make yourself valuable in a way where you can at least get another job in a couple months and i'm not saying that's easy to do in any job fortunately as a developer we can do that we have udemy you know if not treehouse you go to um udacity udacity is pretty legit too but and it hit me real hard and it, it really reminded me on why i'm doing what i'm doing too i mean i do youtube youtube literally pays everything which is crazy outside of my salary right but even more than that right YouTube's nice and I never did YouTube for the money. The fact that it's doing all this is amazing. I wasn't expecting that at all. But for me, YouTube, if you haven't noticed, I've been uploading less videos because YouTube will only be here for so long. So what I've been doing is I've been studying code like my life depended on it. Not because I'm worried about losing my job. I'm not worried about losing my job at all. And if it does, then that's fine, right? But let's say if I was. I would be ready and be able to get a job in literally a month, if not two, three the latest, right? Wouldn't be crazy if it took three months to get a new job. But what I've been doing to make sure I keep my value and grow my value and stay up to date with the latest technology. And not just that, not just staying up to date with the latest technology, but becoming better at what I do, not just depending on work to make me better, but my own self. Is that I've been studying machine learning, right? I've been studying even React. I've been uh, studying advanced JavaScript courses. I've been studying um, my GraphQL. I am looking into Node.js, pretty much the Mern stack, right? But why? Yes, I love coding, by the way. It's fun and it's a hobby of mine too. I love it, it's my passion. But because I wanna make sure that I protect myself too. That's why I'm doing that. Because you have to understand, I'm coding eight hours a day. I'm exhausted, my brain's tired, right? And to study two or three hours after work too is insane sometimes and so like i mean it's real one thing that my mentor from amazon he told me this he told me your boss your company your manager no because ma i mean i tell him like i love my company i mean the culture of my company is amazing my boss is my manager is amazing the co-workers are amazing the culture is amazing i love my i love my work i, I don't dang it's a good company and, and I told him that. And then one thing he told me, because he worked for a great culture at Amazon too, right? He told me, Chris, no matter how amazing a culture is at your company, one thing you have to note is that your boss is not responsible for your future. It is not your company's job to make sure that you have a good career in the future. It's not their job to make sure that you grow as a developer or that you are up to date with the latest technology. And if not that, to just become better at programming. It's not their job at all. Their job is to make sure that you do your job well so that they can keep their job. You know what I mean? The, you, my job is just to do my job well. And that's it. I'm not I'm not saying my company doesn't care about me. No, that's not true at all. I mean, they're it's very lenient. They're, they help me in many ways, to be honest. But at the end of the day, if they have to let me go, they have to. Right? If I get fired for any weird reason, then I get fired. My life and my future is not on anyone's hands but my own self. Which is why I became a programmer in the first place. Which is why I did YouTube in the first place. Which is why I push myself to study code even when I'm exhausted in the first place. Because I know that this situation can happen to anyone. And I don't want that to happen to me. And so this does happen in the industry. You are not protected this from anywhere. Whether you're a doctor or a lawyer or whatever. It doesn't matter. This can happen to anyone if you do not own your own company, right? And that's why I do want to bring this up. And I know that this will probably get a, maybe hopefully a thousand, a couple thousand views. But this is happening on Treehouse right now. And it breaks my heart, man. Because, I mean, I love that company so much. And it's sad. And, like, you know. And it's not that Treehouse is doing bad. They're not doing bad. It's just those departments, I'm assuming, that the people that will let go in those departments are no longer needed and because at the end of the day it is a business they have to do what's best for the business which is true but dang that sucks and it's put things into perspective right um and one thing before i end this video i don't want to make this video too long just to go back in that treehouse thing in case anyone's curious you know they're not doing bad but um ryan carson who's actually the ceo of treehouse um he actually wrote a statement because he noticed that a lot of companies were seeing this. A lot of people were seeing this. I was getting so many messages on Twitter, on Instagram, even text messages, even on Discord. Like, dude, did you see this? I'm like, wait, what are you talking about? 
And, and, and people think I'm sponsored by that. I've never been sponsored by Treehouse. I'm just an affiliate. And, you know, but it sucks, man. I wish these people were given an advance notice. At least a week, if not a month. You know what I mean? So they could find a new job. And because I feel like that's burning bridges, right? Like when if I was to leave my company, they want me to give a two week notice. If you were to leave your company, they would want you to give them a two week notice. They, they weren't given any notice at all. They were just let go. And I mean, that sucks because that's happened to me, too. And at the end of the day, though, this happens. Maybe not. It might not happen to everyone. It doesn't. But it happens more often than you might realize. And so just to end this video, I mean, this can happen to anyone. And so what your job as an aspiring developer, if not, you're currently a developer. And I know many developers are watching this. Make sure that you don't get comfortable. That you don't stop learning because the moment we stop learning code, that's scary. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's what that's the video. I want. That's what that's pretty much what I want to talk about. And um, and to end this on another note, man. Um, I know I haven't been uploading much, but my setup is back. Um, I I'm ready to start uploading. I don't like doing these video podcasts, and I'm gonna start vlogging just here and there, not vlogging as much. Doing another day in the life video very soon. But thank you guys for watching, man. And if you guys haven't yet make sure to join my discord channel that community there is pretty awesome um i made some new mods in there it's a growing community and if you guys have any other questions hit me up on discord but anyway thank you guys for watching see you guys next time this is krishan this is a life world developer and i'm out peace